Hey guys, it's Tampa Tech, and I'll show you how to solder using this basic soldering kit I got from shopjimmy.com. It comes with everything you need to take TV parts out or back in on a circuit board. So I'm gonna show you right now. So it comes with everything you see here. It comes with a soldering iron, 30 watt. It comes with a ground strap, and it comes with an alcohol swab to clean your surface on your circuit board. The uh, solder or solder, whatever you call it. I call it solder because it's easy to say. Solder just sounds weird to me, even though that's the proper term. And it comes with uh, right here desoldering wire. And it comes with tweezers. Tiny parts you want to take out, you just pull them out. And uh, later on, I'm going to do a, um, a review on this really inexpensive multimeter. Thing. Basically, it reads DC volts, AC volts, diodes, resistors. It's pretty handy. It's very inexpensive. Also, uh, that's also at shopjimmy.com. So the first thing you want to do is you want to heat up the solder gun or soldering iron, and you want to prep it. Prep it. You want to take out the solder. So to prep the tip is uh, called tinning. You just basically tap it with solder. So if it doesn't grab onto the tip, and again this is called tinning, just tap it just like that. And I can recommend using a wet sponge to clean the tip of the solder iron. Or how this works, and this all comes in one kit, and basically you just put it on your wrist just like that. And you connect this end to uh, a ground source metal chassis on the TV frame will work. But I tend not to use it, even though I should. I just find it very uncomfortable and it tang tangles and it attaches to things. And this is pretty good to use. It's called a desoldering wire and it comes with the kit. So let's go ahead and show you. So we're gonna um, take out this capacitor right here. That little guy, flip it over. Here, locate the uh, two pins, or you could say the pads, the proper term. And you just want to let's go zoom that in okay, and heat up the, the pads right there. And just let that heat up, liquefy. And then you want to place this right on top, right there. Let it soak in, and you'll see a bubble a little bit. And that's because there's a resin, a flux in there and it absorbs like a sponge the solder once heated. And there it is. And then move to the next spot. So you'll see a, a solder deposit right here. You'll see a solder deposit right here. And that's no good. You want to move on to the next area slightly further down and work yourself down. And then next one. Let that heat up. Press down firmly, not too hard, because you don't want to lift up the pad. Because sometimes if you overheat the pad, the pad will separate from the circuit board. And just like that. Grab onto the capacitor and slightly pull. And it should come right out. This is where the this is where these come into play. So you can just grab it right here. Sometimes you have to bend the legs. Right there. Pull it straight out. And you pull it straight out and there you go. You got one part out. Just like that. It's pretty easy. Now to put it back in, just what you want to do is double check and make sure the white stripe matches, which is the negative, and which matches the white stripe on the capacitor. So let's go ahead and do that. Push that in. Like that, flip it over. There it is right there. You can bend the legs if you please. And let's go ahead and solder it. 
What you want to do is heat up the pin and the pad and then dab some solder right on the both. That's it. You want to get a nice shiny ball. And again, do the same thing right here. Heat up the pin and the pad at the same time with the solder iron. And then just dab a little solder. A little goes a long way. And that's it. You don't overheat anything, then if you do that, then it messes everything up. So that's pretty much it. Any, uh, if you have your legs right here are too long, you could trim them. But it looks like it's not going to short anything out. But if you have a lot of like, you know, pins or around nearby, you want to trim these legs with a wire cutter. Anyway, guys, this is how you do it. And this is basic soldering tips. If you know any of your own basic soldering tips, go ahead and post a video comment below and share them with us. And if you know this video that may help anyone, go ahead and share it on Facebook or G+. And if it helped you personally, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And if you're interested in more tech stuff and easy tech fixes, subscribe to Tampa Tech. Thanks for watching.